Hi guys, so today I just wanted to make a vlog. I mean, I haven't made one in a while. Actually, I've never made one because actually in the summer I really wanted to start doing YouTube more, but then school started and life happened and I got busy and yeah, so now I'm going to try and do it. Plus, I have a camera, but you see my camera, it's really hard to position and I don't have anybody to help me and it's so much of a hassle, but now I have a webcam, so it's all good now. Okay, and enough of that. Okay, so I guess in my vlog, I'm going to start off with my favorite website besides Facebook www.polybore.com. Now, Polybore is a very awesome website. It's a fashion website where you can make outfits and sets and layouts and stuff, and it's amazing. Like, here's a few of my sets. you like. Most sets people do for layouts or some people make these really cool picture sets where they just put a whole bunch of items and make a scene or a picture. It's really cool. But if you want to see them you should check it out and I'll put it I'll put the link down there and I'll put my link for Polybore. If you really like my style you should add me as a contact and comment and like my sets. You should do that. <laughs> okay and another thing okay another topic I have a facial cleanser. I don't remember what I used to do, but it was it was by Neutrogena. And it was, I don't know, it's always on the commercials, and I can't believe I'm forgetting it because I really like it. But, you see, I was, at this, uh, I was at Target the other day, which is one of my favorite stores. <laughs> and I got a new cleanser by L'Oreal. It's the Go360 Clean. This stuff is amazing. And it's got this really cool, okay, it comes with a little cleaner thingy, and it's really cool, and, okay, look it, it comes with the brush thingy. It's amazing, and it just makes me, my skin and my face feel so good, so, if you haven't tried this, I really think that you should try this L'Oreal Go 360 Clean. It works like a gem, and I don't know, like, you should really try it. Like I said, my face. My face feels so good after I clean it. It feels so soft and nice. And oh, another reason why I didn't use my cleanser is because I real it. I just realized it was a morning cleanser, and I mean, I'm it can be used probably for night, but I don't know. It it definitely woke my face up when I wanted to go to bed, so I decided it'd be better to use for the morning. I found it! It's Clean and Clear by Johnson Johnson Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. And this is what I use. And it really is a good morning cleanser because it has... It gently exfoliates to clean deep down to the pores. Cool, refresh, ref, refreshing tingle. And it has the little beads in it too. So that's that's probably what wakes my face up. But yeah, I just had to bring it and show it because I didn't want to be wrong. And I knew that I was being dumb, so I just, and plus I was putting my other thing away, so why not grab this? Okay, so me on a personal level, well, right now I'm trying to find a solo or a duet to sing for the variety show, which, it's like a talent show, but with no prize, and everybody from our theater does it, and I really, I don't know, I really want to do it, because I've never been in the variety show, I've worked tech for it, lights, and house crew, 
And I, I don't know, everybody's telling me I should do something like sing, and I also want to do a monologue, and <laughs> I'm going to try and put it, I'm going to try and film myself doing it. It's really funny. It's about Cinderella and her stepsisters. It's kind of funny. It's making an, her sister, stepsister is making an attempt. It's so like, oh, it's not, it's not our fault that Cinderella cleaned. She wanted to. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know if that's how it goes, but I'm just, I don't know. That was me thinking, I don't know. I'm so weird. No, I don't know, but can you really define normal? Like, really? Normal is a stereotype. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Anyways. And I also, um, what was I thinking of? Oh my goodness, I was just about to say it. You know, you know, have you ever had that feeling when you want to say something and then you're about to say it and then you forget it? Yeah, I, I hate that feeling. It happens to me when I'm on camera and in real life too, but on camera too, because I'm, I'm, I'm staring at the little blue button or the little blue light and it's kind of intimidating, especially since I just drank coffee and... Okay, I know this is really, really dumb, but I always have this weird thing about coffee breath, so I feel like I'm talking to people, but they can't actually smell my breath, but I'm still a little self-conscious about it, like, just in case. I don't know. It's weird, but it's just me, I guess. Um. Oh, yes, I was just going to say that I finished my finals, duh. So, for the... For the next couple weeks, I'm sure that I'll be able to do some more videos because now that finals are over and all the study is done, especially APUS, I had to write an essay and take a 40 question quiz in an hour and 15 minutes. It was really hard, but I did it. And I finished, by, I finished five minutes early. I'm very proud about that. And then, okay, and then in my next period, I had to do the same thing, which was history again because I love history it's one of my favorite it's my favorite subject in school okay and then and then in English I had to take two multiple cho I had to take two different um, tests one the teacher gave us and then one's another benchmark which the district gives us and I don't I don't know the benchmark was kind of hard like I hate it when they give you those things where you have to read a passage and then answer the questions because I always forget and then I have to go back and read and then I don't know, it's so annoying. But yeah, okay, enough with school. I love school though, so I don't know. School's fun. Especially like friends and theater and everything. Oh, 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 okay, so next year I'm going to try out for Chambers, which Chambers Singers in the Choir, which is the highest you can go for singing and then my friend okay I don't think I can dance at all but apparently when we were at the winter fresh which is not winter formal because our school didn't do winter formal this year because it was too expensive to rent out the place which oh my gosh I don't know why the rich kids in the ASB couldn't have paid because there's like the whole ASB is made up of rich kids but anyways um apparently I can dance so she's going to help me get together and we're going to dance and I'm going to try and make the dance team. So my schedule is going to be so full next year. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be dance and I'm going to try and be in choir. I'm going to try and be in, well, I'm going to be in theater. I know I'm going to be in theater. I'm not going to give up theater. I'm making that up right now. But yeah, I'm busy too. Theater is so busy. I wanted to get a job. Well, I was going to try and get a job at Forever 21, but it's closing and our in our in our town forever 21 is closing I was so sad to find out and on top of that my my glasses broke the same day but it's okay because I got new glasses yeah I just had to do that but um so I guess I'm not gonna get a job but I couldn't really get a job there anyways because well I'm trying to think I would like to get a job but I couldn't because our school, like a theater, you have to be there all the time. Like you don't, like it's not a typical schedule. You don't know sometimes when you're going to need to be there and if you're not going to need to be there, like if you're going to have to stay there late or anything. Because sometimes things come up like extra rehearsals and then 
just like tech things that need to be done, meetings. Um, and then with dance and choir, if I do it next year, that's, that's going to really fill up my schedule. Okay, so in February we're going to have a trip to Hollywood from our theater and we're going to see the musical Rock of Ages, which I'm really excited because it has the song Every Rose Has a Thorn in it, which it also has Don't Stop Believing, I think. I don't know. My favorite musical is Les Mis, which I posted in the last video. But um, Rock of Ages, I love that just because it's got rock and roll music. And then if you also love rock and roll music, you should see the play Aida or like listen to the music. I love that play. So much, or I love that musical so much. I always forget there's a difference between a play and a musical, but not really because a musical is like music singing, but it's a play. I, whatever. You guys know what I mean. I'm just being technical with myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go now because I have something to do, which unfortunately invo involves doing the horse corrals, which. I don't really want to do, but I love my horses, and I don't want them to suffer, so I guess this is a goodbye, everybody. Bye! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do my monologue later, so, yeah. If you also know any, any duets or solos um, for females that are from any musicals, or just like any songs that are good, or Glee, Glee, I love Glee. Glee would work too, um, any songs from Glee. No, I love the song Taking Chances and No Air. And then, um, Take a Bow. I love Rachel's character. Okay, okay, I've got to go. But, yeah, if you know any songs that are really good, you should totally comment. Because I'm in need of a really good song. Okay, guys. Bye. Au revoir.